In this video, I'm going to teach you the elevator, and it looks like this. Now, as you can see, the elevator is a pretty neat trick, but it's actually not too difficult as long as you have a powerful sleeper. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips to make it look good and to get it down just right. So the first thing that you're going to do when you want to practice this trick is you're going to get a sleeper as good as you can, and then you're going to put your opposite hand in between the string and you, and you're going to push right into the string. And then you're going to lift the yo-yo up, and you want to put it on the string just above your yo-yo finger. And then all you're going to do to make the yo-yo climb the string is you're just going to pull your hands apart, and you can see that makes the yo-yo go up. When it gets to the top, you just toss the yo-yo up, and if it's got enough spin, it should wind up and go right back into your hand. Now, when you're doing this trick, uh, especially for somebody who's never seen this trick before, one thing that you want to avoid is as you're doing the trick, you don't want the yo-yo to be bouncing off the string as it goes up, because that really kills the effect. If you can keep the yo-yo on the string, then uh, sometimes it looks kind of mysterious, like how is it climbing the string? Um, you know you're just separating your hands, but it can be pretty cool to somebody who's never seen it before. To make sure that the yo-yo doesn't bounce off the string, the easiest way is to just make sure that your yo-yo hand is slightly in front of your top hand, and that way it won't bounce as it goes up. Now when you start to do the trick that way, that might cause you some other problems. It might actually cause the yo-yo to twist and turn a little bit, and uh, it might even kill the spin. Uh, the reason that that happens is because your hands aren't straight up and down. As long as your hands are straight and the string is barely touching the side of the yo-yo, it'll just spin true. But as soon as you start to get your hands so that they're not perfectly vertical, uh, then the string is going to push into the side of the yo-yo and that causes it to twist and turn a little bit. So if that problem is happening to you, just be really conscious and really focus on keeping your hands straight up and down as you pull them apart, and that'll make the trick work a lot better. Now, this trick leads into other more difficult string tricks, like the brain twister, but this is kind of an easy way to get started, and so we think it's a great trick to learn, and that is the elevator.